In this video, we're going to complete example two. It wants us to simplify the following expressions by collecting like terms. So when we do this, there's a few steps we take. The first thing we do is we check for like terms. The second step is to add or subtract the coefficients. Now, in case you've forgotten what coefficients are, basically they are the numbers that are in front of the prime numerals. The third step is just to basically write the prime numeral at the end of the number. All right, I'll show you how to do that <clears throat> with example two. If we look at example two, you'll notice that we have three terms, 5a, 4a, and negative a, they all have the same pronumeral or set of pronumerals, so we're going to underline them. They are all like terms. That's step one, checking for like terms. We're now going to add and subtract the coefficients. So if we look here, we've got a coefficient of 5, a coefficient of 4, and it looks like we don't have a coefficient here. Now, when there's no coefficient, there's technically a number one. So we're going to put that there. And we're going to add or subtract these coefficients. 5 plus 4 is 9, minus 1 is 8. Let's write that down. So we're going to write down 8. And then the third step says, write the pronumeral at the end of the number. So the pronumeral we were looking at was A. So we're going to write that at the end of our number. That's our solution, 8a. Now, to look at this in a more uh, visual way, what you could do is go, well, imagine these were apples. If I had five apples and I added four apples to this, I would have nine apples. And then if I took away one apple, I would end up with eight apples. All right, let's now look at question B, we have 8xy and 3yx. They have the same set of pronumerals. It doesn't matter about the order, so these are like terms. That's step one. Step two, we're going to add and subtract the coefficients. 8 minus 3, which is 5. Write that here, 5. And step three says write the pronumeral or maybe set of pronumerals at the end of the number. So 5xy, or we could have had 5yx. Both solutions would be appropriate. Now, when we get to question C, we're faced with a bit of a problem here. They're not all like terms. So here we have a set of pronumerals c squared d, and we have c squared d over here as well. So we'll just focus on the two terms that are like terms at the moment, and we'll look at their coefficients. So we've got a coefficient of 10, and we've got a coefficient, and we've got to be really careful, it's not just 3, it's minus 3. All right, so we're going to add or subtract the coefficients. We're going to go 10 minus 3, which is 7. And next to this, we're going to write the set of pronumerals, which is c squared d. c squared d. Now, there are a couple of other terms that we ignored, and they were this 3, which is a positive 3, and then we're adding a 2 at, at the end here. Now, you'll notice that they don't have any pronumerals. These are actually like terms. They share the same set of pronumerals. The set of pronumerals they share are none. They don't have any. So we can combine these. We can imagine these as coefficients and just go 3 plus 2, which is 5. So we'll write that at the end, plus 5. And we don't need to write down any pronumerals because the original terms had none to start with. Moving on to question D, we're just going to underline like terms. So we have the set of pronumerals a squared b. We can also see a squared b here in a different order. 
and we need to be careful to note that this is not the same as a squared b this is b squared a so we'll just focus on the two terms that are like at the moment remembering if there's no coefficient there's technically a one so let's add our or subtract our coefficient so six plus one giving us seven so write that down equals seven and we write the set of pronumerals next to it which is a squared b or we could have had b a squared all right let's look for some other like terms we've got um, 3a which we need to be careful it's really negative 3a and there's another term that has a single a in it so we've got minus 2a all right so how are we going to combine these well what's negative 3 minus 2 well that gives us minus 5 remembering that we need to write the pronumeral or set of pronumerals after this which is a all right now we have one more term that we haven't looked at yet it does not share any other like terms here so what do we do in this scenario well we can't add it to anything we can't subtract it to anything so it just stays the same it just stays as positive 5 b squared a and this is our solution for question D. That concludes our video on example two. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.